Hello everyone, um, in this short video I would like to go through an example of drawing the face portrait in the following case. You have two eigenvalues, they are real and they are distinct and uh, one of them is zero as we see here. So we see that lambda 1 is zero and lambda 2 here we put a number Let's say it's 1, positive. This is 1 and this is 0. And then we put in some eigenvectors. Okay, So we would like to draw the face portrait. So let's draw our axis. Let's say mm -hmm, this is x1 and uh, this is x2. Okay. So following the procedure we did in the classroom, we would first draw the v1 direction. So v1 has 1 and 2, so this is 1 and this is 2, so it will be through this point and, th and to the origin connected. So let me draw it a bit nicer. So that's the v1 direction. And then <coughs> we want to put arrows on it and we go and check the eigenvalue and we found that it's 0. So what does that mean? That means if you start if your initial condition is a point that's along this line um, that we draw here, if it's exactly on it, then every point on this line is an equilibrium point and the system will not move. Okay, So there will be no arrows, so it's a whole line consists of all infinitely many equilibrium points. Okay. And now let's draw the second eigenvector. So, okay, let me mark it. This is V1. Okay, let's draw the second one. second one says it's 1 and negative 1. So it's kind of going down with the 45 degree. Let me try to draw a nice one. Whoops, pretend it goes through the origin. I, I didn't make it. So, okay, so that's V2. So what happens along this V2? Well, let's go and look at the eigenvalue, it says it's positive. So your arrows should be pointing away from the origin because it's a growing amplitude. So that's how you will put your arrows. And then what about in between? Well, in between, you would simply have all trajectories parallel to the V2 line with the slope. Mm -hmm. And uh, along each of such lines, along each of such line, a line like that, along the line, the point where it in intersects V1, that's a critical point, that's a equilibrium. And if you're not at that point, and then you would follow these arrows and you would just go away. So let me complete. So you have an arrow here, and here, and here, and here, and then here. And here. So your trajectories will be all parallel lines. Let's summarize. There will be all parallel lines in the direction of V2, many, many of them, plus one special one that is this one in the direction of V1 that goes through the origin. And along this line, every point is an equilibrium point. Okay. So we can think also a different scenario. Let's say, um, if the lambda 2 now, um, my choice of it will be negative 1. It's not positive anymore. Let's say I choose a negative number. So what difference will that make? Well, V1 will still be the same. Is that right? We agree. So this will still be the same, and every point will be on the line will be an equilibrium point. And then we draw the direction of V2. We draw it here, and then we see that because lambda 2 is negative, then the arrows will have to point inward towards the origin. So let me put in blue. If we were in the negative case, the arrows will all point in. So along the all the parallel lines, you will have to switch the arrow as well. So let me complete this. So in the blue case where we have this negative eigenvalue for the, for the lambda 2, and the face portrait will look the same except you have to reverse the direction of the arrows. 
Okay, hope this explains and hope this helps you in, in doing your homework problems. Okay, bye.